and I think I'm gonna have to hold my nose. This is what it looks like. <laughs> oh my god, that is so good. It tastes like cat food. <gasps> okay. Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. So I'm actually so excited to film today's video. I miss doing food challenges so much. My channel was really like dedicated to diets, testing food, doing challenges two years ago and now like I just don't do any of that anymore. So I'm actually gonna start it again because I really enjoy it and it makes me happy. I love trying new foods, obviously. Anyway, so today's video is going to be only eating foods for 24 hours I've never tried before. So yeah, honestly this was more difficult than I thought. But I don't want to ramble on too much because I don't want it to be a really lengthy video. I'm going to be in breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, but only foods I've never ever tried in my whole entire life. I think it's going to be funny. I know, I'm just nervous because some of the foods are like, oh no. Um, but yeah, so we're going to start off with me going to the shops to get the food and then we're going to go in to breakfast. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and please like, subscribe and comment. Okay, so I'm just approaching Tesco now and yeah, I'm gonna go, I hope it's not busy, but I'm gonna go see what foods there is and see obviously what foods I have never tried. I can't figure it out and think what you actually haven't ate before. So this is gonna be fun and obviously I'm gonna take you with me. Um, so yeah, see you in there. Okay, so I'm in Tesco now. I'm a bit annoyed, forgot my club card card. Fuming, but I think I'm just gonna start off each aisle and just wander up and see what I can find. So this is what got so far. It's actually proven really difficult knowing what I have and have not tried and to make it interesting, but I'm getting somewhere at the minute. Right, so I've got my bag from Tesco. Um, I didn't really find a lot, so I'm going to go into Aldi on the way back and see if I can find anything in there. Cause I just feel like I haven't got enough snacky items, but I did get a few bits I've never tried before, so we'll see. And I'm going to order food in the night time. Um, but yeah, I don't know why I've still got my mask on, but off to Aldi we go. Okay, so we're on to the next. Okay, so because I went on a big run this morning, I did 10k, I'm having a big breakfast. So, firstly, cinnamon chips. These are the knockoff version from Aldi. They had them in Tesco, but I was like, I'm not paying four quid for them. So I got these. I've always wanted to try these. I love cinnamon, but like nice cereal is just something I don't buy because I don't eat it. And I don't know, I just, I just really am excited to try this. And I have bought vegetarian bacon. Like I've I've tried normal bacon in the past, but never tried vegetarian bacon. It's weird how weird it looks. But yeah. And then to go with that, um I thought I needed like I've obviously I've tried bread before. Um so I wanted like something new. So I got these potato cakes. Now I think these are like sort of breakfasty, but yeah, um, I'm going to cook it anyway and show you. <laughs> um, we're going in with breakfast. I don't know which one to try first. Right, okay, so I think I'm going to try the, the veggie ba bacon and the potato cakes. So, yeah, I've tried corn sausages. I've tried everything like that. As you know, like, I don't eat meat. Just that choice. I just don't really like it that much. But I have obviously tried real bacon before in my life. But never vegetarian bacon. So this is um this this is what it looks like. <laughs> it actually smells like real bacon. Like I'm not even joking. If you had smell vision, you'd think, oh my god, she's cooking bacon. It really does smell like bacon. Like, I'm not sure if you was meant to put butter on the potato things, but I'm just gonna go without now taste test. So I am gonna put ketchup on it afterwards and try it first without anything. So, obviously it's got no fat on it, so it's just like... Oh, I'm so scared. I don't know, what the hell? That is so weird. I like it. 
it genuinely tastes like like bacon rasher crisps right i'm gonna try some of the potato cake no i don't right the, my first impression of the smell of this potato cake was it smells like play-doh like remember play-doh when you were little like it smells like that it still does smell like that potato cakes are really doughy and I think that's why they smell like play-doh like I just can't explain it in any other way right I'm gonna try it with a bit with a bit of ketchup so I just think everything tastes a bit better with ketchup Now I've got bacon, potato cake and ketchup, so obviously we've, all, we've tried ketchup before, so. Yeah. So I'd rate the bacon, the veggie bacon, a solid 7.5. I mean, like, I wouldn't wake up hungover and think i would want to go for that i don't know maybe it'd probably be different if it was on like a crusty carb with like low pack and stuff but it's a bit and then potato cakes like, i just want to try a bit more of them because i'm just don't understand i put mine in the grill but nah they just taste like dough so that was a, a disappointment but but this is all about trying new things so okay and now i'm on to the cereal like i love cereal so this is gonna be fun for me do you prefer um cereal when it's quite soft like i always like it for the milk to like settle in now they smell like remember them like rice crispy mini packs that you used to get like the letters was it or something i can't remember what they're called it's gonna really baffle me now they don't smell really cinnamony at all maybe that's because they're the rowdy version but we move okay i feel like i need to wash my mouth out from the bacon taste get a big spoon <laughs> i need another spoon I feel like quite disappointed. I thought they were going to be something really amazing. I don't know if the Tesco ones would be better, but they just don't really taste that cinnamony. They're, they're all right. Nice cereal, but I wouldn't buy it again. I think I prefer Cocoa Pops. Like, if I was going to go for like a bowl of cereal at night time and I thought, mm, really fancy some cereal, I don't think I would go for them. But I can't rate the cereal. I'm actually going to rate it a 6 because it just wasn't that nice. I thought there was going to be more cinnamon. I think it was a bit bland. Guys, oh, I'm disappointed with the breakfast. But it's all about learning new things and trying new things. So, yeah. So that's breakfast. Done. Okay, so I'm just actually on my way to Starbucks now to pick up an eggnog latte because I've never tried an eggnog latte before. So yeah, I've ordered it through my phone and yeah, I'm gonna go try one. Okay, so I've got my Starbucks and I just wanna do a quick taste test. Oh my God, that is so good. It's quite hard to explain. I think it tastes like really creamy. It tastes like a latte, um, but for my first eggnog latte, that is so nice. I think I'd definitely rate that a 9 out of 10. I'm just going to um, walk home now. I've been in the library, done some work, did like start my dissertation reading. Um, but yeah, I'm going to walk back and then I'm going to try some more snacks. So, exciting times. Starbucks now. Oh my God, eggnog lattes are so nice. I'm so glad I tried it. I literally said for so long I've always wanted to try an eggnog latte. So, I... I'm so impressed with it, it's so nice. And we feel a bit Christmassy as well. You know, I don't know what like eggnog is. Like, I don't know if it's gonna taste eggy or I don't know. But we're on to the next thing anyway. So it's a bit later on. And keeping on the subject subject of eggs, 
Look, I actually love eggs. Like, I love omelettes, scrambled egg, but I've never ever tried this, um, ever. And it's pickled eggs. Now, I love pickled onions and pickled gherkins and everything, but I just feel like pickled eggs in a jar in, I don't know how this is gonna taste. Um, so yeah, hard boiled eggs pickled in distilled malt vinegar. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna try a pickled egg for the first time in my life. Obviously I've tried eggs, but just not pickled. So, oh. oh no, it's all gone down me. Oh no, it's in my hair. Oh God, it smells so strong. Okay. I'll just pick it out. Do you think I should get a fork? Is that bad of me if I just pick it out of the jar? Cause so if if I'm on, if someone else wants them, then they can have have them. Get a fork. Okay. So can't get it out. Like what the hell? Okay, they just smell so vinegar, vinegary, vinegary. <laughs> okay, taste test. Basically, literally just hard boiled egg but in vinegar, so it has a really vinegary taste to it, obviously. I think I like it. Obviously, I'm eating it, so I do like it. I wonder if it's bad for you as well, because eggs are actually really good for you, aren't they? But I don't know if the vinegar makes it bad for you. Actually, because I like eggs, actually, there's a bit of a, a you get a bit of a metallic aftertaste, but apart from that, I actually think they're quite nice. I mean, it's just an egg in vinegar, but I've never tried one before, so yeah, I'd probably rate that like a seven. I'll see you when we're having the next, the next video. A bit later on now, and the next thing's I've got to try before we get dinner is something absolutely disgusting. So I know that I don't eat meat, which is actually out of my choice. I think I've actually never tried is fish in my whole entire life, like ever. I mean, I've tried a crab stick, but I don't think that really counts as fish. It's not a sea creature, isn't it? I thought I'd, for the video purpose, I would actually try some fish. Because actually, I don't know. Yeah, anyway. When I told my mum what I actually got, she was like, why did you get that? Because it was literally going to put you off even more. So I actually got sardines in tomato sauce. I got them in tomato sauce because I thought it'd like take, take the flavour off. Have you ever tried these? Connor, have you ever tried sardines? I haven't tried any fish. I don't think ever? You've never tried fish either? Apart from a fish finger. <gasps> so he's never tried fish either, but oh, I just... Oh god, there's a hundred and five calories in one. I just don't want it. Oh, I'm so scared. Do you know what it is? It's the smell and the texture. So anyway, I've got these. I thought if I got them in tomato sauce, then it would obviously. Oh god, I feel like my stomach's gonna really disagree with this because I've not ate like any type of meat for years. Oh, I actually can't deal. Connor, my fucking stinks. I'm gonna heave. I'm gonna heave. It's got the skin. It's got the skin on it. I can't. Just pinch your nose. I actually. It smells like cat food. I don't think I actually can physically do it. And it just really smells. Why don't you cook it? I don't think you're meant to cook it. Are you meant to eat it cold? No. This product contains bones as well. I just. I can't do that. I actually can't do it. Right. The second thing I'm going to try, so I'm going to wash my mouth out with it, is one of these chocolate high, high protein nourishment milkshakes. I wanted to try this, like, obviously I've tried milkshake before, but I've always seen these and wondered why they were in a can. 
and my mom said that they're old school milkshakes like they were around there you go 1981 so i just i can't actually that stinks that fish so i wanted to try one of these as well oh, i'm gonna try the milkshake first oh how weird you just drink it out of can it smells better than that fish anyway nice that just literally tastes like really nice creamy milkshake. Okay, so we're gonna have this to wash the fish out with. Okay. I'm just gonna try a tiny little bit because I don't think I actually can physically do any more. And I think I'm gonna have to hold my nose. If I just, I don't really want to get the skin. I, I think I shouldn't have got the tomato sauce one. It's making it look like it's all bloody. Okay, I actually have got a little bit on my fork. Like, that isn't, I think that is an acceptable amount. Considering I haven't ate meat in like three years, this is, the fish is just my worst fear. I have to put the tuna at work and it just makes me feel sick. <sighs> okay. I just got to think I could do this. I'd actually rather shop. Yeah, you go. Oh my god. That is disgusting, Holly. What did you? The taste horrible. I just feel like I've just put like cat food in. <laughs> in the bin because it stinks as well. It smells like a rotten vagina. I just think to people who actually eat fish and enjoy it, there's something wrong with you. Because it actually stinks. Well, it's safe to say I'll never ever be trying a sardine or any type of fish ever again it's sad really because i did want to try and train myself to like fish because it's really good for you um but that's just not gonna happen um that was a bit of a fail because i didn't swallow it so i don't know if it counts but yeah if i, I don't really want to make myself sick so but the milkshake's really nice i sure i feel like being in a can though because you get like a proper like metallic taste after it so i think it'd be better with like in a glass with some ice or something i tried that and then oh honestly that fish is made for sick so um the next thing we're going to be doing is ordering dinner so i'll see you at dinner time we're going to be getting a takeout and i'll let you know what it is when we all <laughs> I've never actually tried before is a burrito so we're gonna order from barbario and i'm going for i think a classic burrito um obviously i'm getting not chicken so like i'm getting plant-based chicken kind of please stop that a minute <laughs> um and then i think i'm gonna choose i need to choose a rice that i've never tried before so i've never tried lime white rice Hmm, I don't know what rice to get. Okay, so I think I'm gonna get the, what rice are you getting? Mexican. Okay, so I'm gonna get Mexican brown rice, because that does sound quite nice. And then I'm gonna add onions and peppers. Um, That's it actually, I think, I don't want anything else definitely do not want any spicy sauce so i'm gonna have to go for this pico di gallo i have no idea what that is but we're gonna go for it anyway and then i'm gonna get cheese sour cream spinach slot i'm just gonna get oh my god pickled onions as well you've got to go all out does it already have guacamole in it um no i don't think it does so i think i'm gonna add guacamole as well 
I'm so sorry if you can hear that munching in the background. And our jaws. So we're sharing a cheesy chips and... Cheesy nachos. Cheesy nachos. I know that's not part of the video, guys, but it's... Do you know? Right, I'm going to order this anyway. Okay, so I'm just going down to get the Uber now. It came really quick. Um... Yeah, I'm so excited for it. I've never tried a burrito before, so I'm just gonna get Benef down now and go. Well, we got the goods. And yeah, we're gonna dish it up, I think. I don't know if it's gonna be cold or not. It might actually be alright. Two seconds. So, obviously, I've tried nachos and chips before, but actually, never from Bar Burrito. So, I think this counts. Look how big that burrito is. Um, so, obviously, I'm gonna do a little taste test. Action of my first ever burrito. So, I think it's going to be mega hot though because I literally have had to warm it up in the microwave because we got it from Uber Eats. So, yeah. I don't even know how to pick this up, honestly. So I went for the veggie one. you actually seen what I put on it. But, yeah, we're going we're gonna to eat this now. I think I've made it a bit soggy. <laughs> No, that's really nice. Something like veggies and stuff in it. I feel it's literally like carb gal galore though. Like it's literally wrap, chips, nachos, rice, inside a wrap. And then chicken. Um, but yeah, I'm going to enjoy this now. I'm going to watch Gogglebox. And then I'll let you know how I enjoyed this meal. Aftermath. I've literally had to pick all the corn chicken out because genuinely it tastes like cat food. I mean, not like I know what cat food tastes like, but I imagine it tastes like that because it just, you know, when you smell something and you just know what it's going to taste like. Um, but apart from that, like I said to Connor, like normally after a takeaway, you'd feel really dirty and like, oh, I can't do anything, but I actually feel all right. Like I feel quite clean and i just feel really bloated because it was so much carbs um i don't know if i would order a burrito again because it was what is that that shadow oh it's a shadow um i don't know if i'd order it again because like it is quite pricey but obviously we got 50 percent off so it was all right um but yeah i think if i was gonna like get a takeaway and i wanted to not feel icky and horrible i would definitely get that again i don't think the size were that good either we all just like nachos and uh, cheesy chips but i just think we could have made them better ourselves that's my just honest opinion um i've got one thing left to try today and then that's it but i wish it was like a sweet thing i was fuming because i was meant to have churros from barbarito because i've seen that they had them on the menu but they were all sold out and i've never tried a churro before so that sort of pissed on my parade for dessert but i think i might just finish off that milkshake as well and then yeah try the last the last thing right so i thought we're on to the last thing so i might as well this shadow is annoying me it's making me look like i've got a flipping beard um so i'm gonna put you here now the last thing is oh, oh i actually feel so full what are you doing oh yeah i know the last thing is one of these things like i always walk past in a supermarket and i've always just been what what does it try like taste like and you know when you're like you're watching bake off and they do bit things and you've heard the word and you're like oh well what is it let me turn this down so this is a mini roulette roulade or something i don't know how you pronounce it but it's this um so it's basically tomato and basil um full fat soft cheese with dried tomato flakes and basil so i'm gonna try it because i'm just really intrigued to see what it tastes like i really need something sweet i'm fuming because i didn't buy anything like that i've never tried that's sweet so i'm so full as well and i can't get the taste of cat food out of my mouth oh. it smells really nice I wish this was a cake. It's got a cute little swirl. 
Okay, so I suppose this is like having a cheese board after your meal. Very intense, like really strong cheese. And I don't think I can finish that, definitely not tonight. Um, I'm going to be sick. I think I would enjoy that more if I'd not just ate a huge burrito and so much carbs, but it was alright. And do you know what? Actually, these are only 96 calories. That's mad. You'd think it'd be a lot more. What have you had? Oh, is that the rest of your burrito? Yeah. I'm not going to stop. I'm excited. Oh, treat so, yourself. Don't worry. <laughs> um, but yeah, okay. So I think I'd rate that like... I feel, I feel like I'd rate it more if I weren't so full. Um, but I'm glad I've tried that now. It's just something that I've always been really intrigued to try. Um, but yeah, I think... That's it for now. I just feel so... Definitely going to be fueled for my run in the morning anyway. Uh, but yeah, that's me trying a ruler. If anyone knows how to pronounce that, please let me know because it feels so stupid. So, I'm going to end this video here now. Hope you enjoyed it. It was something different. I really enjoyed filming it, to be honest. Trying foods that I've obviously never tried before. Apart from that fish, which was absolutely revolting and I'm scarred for life. Um, but yeah, I feel like I'm going to start doing these foodie sort of videos quite often i've got one planned that i'm really excited to do in the next couple of weeks um but yeah i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in the next one